Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Today we're going to talk about code commenting in HTML, CSS, JavaScript and PHP. So code commenting serves two major purposes. Firstly, allowing you, the developer, to annotate your work with explanations and reminders. And secondly, code commenting allows you to disable or hide a selection of code without actually having to delete it from the file. Adding comments to your coding is really straightforward and if you're working with PHP there are multiple comment types available. So if, like me, you write your coding in Dreamweaver, there's also a nifty shortcut in the code view to make adding comments even easier. Let's take a look. So I've put together a very basic page in Dreamweaver that includes a bit of uh, CSS. We've got a little JavaScript, uh, some obviously some uh, HTML tags, and we've got some uh, PHP scripts running on the page. Now the first thing I want to do is to show you where this um, sort of toolbar shortcut is for comments. So if you look at this uh, left-hand toolbar in the code view of Dreamweaver, you'll see the little speech bubble just here that's called Apply Comment. And if you push on that, it gives you access to the various types of comments that you're going to need, um, particularly when working with um, HTML, CSS, and PHP. So let's start by looking at the most uh, basic and perhaps more common uh, comment, and that's the standard HTML comment tag. Now we could uh, perhaps add an, uh, a note or an annotation to our coding just here and we could use the uh, shortcut here to get a HTML comment and inside there we could write um, a note like uh, write body perhaps and this would indicate to me um, or to the people that view the source of the page this is where perhaps uh, some, some key information or something happens on the page and it's important to bear in mind that this sort of uh, greyed out code won't affect or be visible on the front end of the website it's merely just a comment for the sort of back-end uh, coding. So in addition to being able to write notes um, about the code, you can also use HTML comments, um, as we mentioned, to hide things. So if we delete our little message and then wrap perhaps some HTML up in this, uh, in this HTML comment, you'll see that our heading one becomes greyed out and that would essentially be hidden from, uh, from the live view of the website. So two great um, ways there of using the HTML comments. And um, you know, this sort of brings us then on to other types of comments for um, CSS and for uh, scripting and programming languages. It's also worth um, pointing out the purpose of having a HTML comment uh, inside a script tag. Um, you may notice from copy and pasting scripts or writing your scripts that it's good practice to have a HTML comment um, just inside script tags. And the reason for this is it ensures your um, markup validates, particularly if your functions um, create HTML elements, um, you'll probably find that you'll, have uh, you'll struggle to validate your page um, using something like the W3C validator. And this is due to some uh, old browsers that you don't really have anymore um, that uh, didn't recognize the script tag and tried to process the functions inside as HTML. So that's why we have a HTML comment around, uh, around scripts. Now the other types of comments we have are, uh, we've got a, a comment block and this is a forward slash um, and an asterisk and an asterisk and a forward slash to close the comment and this is the, this is the uh, comment that you use for CSS and you can also use this in uh, JavaScript and PHP. So in CSS for example um, whether you're doing this in line on the page like I am or if it's on an external uh, external style sheet you can apply a uh, block comment and we could uh, make notes just here and with the same principle of HTML comments we could uh, comment out uh, parts of CSS and the same principle works in uh, JavaScript and also in PHP. So a block comment, um, very useful, and this is the only way that you can um, add comments uh, onto files like, uh, like CSS. <clears throat> so let's just remove that. Now the next type of uh, comment is the uh, double forward slash that can be used in uh, JavaScript and PHP. And you can see here I've, uh, I've used two to um, to tell me uh, what these two little lines of PHP script do. So the first one gets the date and the second one gets the time. Now these are very useful um, comments, but you can also use a forward slash to disable a line of code, like so. However, if the forward slash like we've looked at here comes after the code, you can add a comment. Again, going back to our block code, if we wanted to disable all of this uh, PHP, we can do so like this. So let's say for example um, we wanted to disable all of the PHP on this page we would have to sort of go through and do a series of uh, commenting out of all the PHP scripts 
that we find here on this section. However, there's one more PHP comment that's actually very useful and very quick for uh, disabling large blocks or large areas um, of PHP. And this is the uh, default PHP comment tag. And if we were to select, for example, all of, our, all of our body content, we could wrap this in a PHP comment and it would disable everything inside. So very useful um, PHP comment tag, and that's one that I use uh, quite a lot. So like James demonstrated, code commenting can be really useful and straightforward to implement. Five things to bear in mind when using code comments are one, define a consistent style of commenting and stick to it. Take time aligning and formatting your comments, particularly if you're not the only one accessing the code. Secondly, don't waste time writing obvious comments. It's pointless writing HTML notes like start a footer when semantic div IDs can do the same thing. Comment your code while you're writing it. Going back and trying to comment it at a later stage can be inaccurate and time consuming. Number four, write your comments as though they were for yourself. Simple, short and to the point. And finally, if you don't want the public to see any of your HTML comments when they view the source, for example, try adding all of your HTML comments as PHP comments. OK, we hope this week's video has been useful. Please leave any comments, questions or contributions on our supporting blog post. Thanks for watching.